Hey, welcome back to my confidence series. This is Thomas from okaysnotenough.com with the confidence tip number 18, visualization versus mental rehearsal. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of the law of attraction type of visualization. I think it's just one step away from wishing. If it's not exactly that, only wishing for something. Sitting at home and wishing for being more confident will do jack all for you. But there's a type of visualization that is much more based in science and it's called mental rehearsal. Mental rehearsal is widely used in sports by athletes. So let me tell you how you can use this mental rehearsal in order to build a better, healthier self-confidence. You can visualize yourself going through a specific situation or situation that scare you right now. But visualize going through that situation as your confident self, as the version of yourself that you are aspiring to be and visualize it in as much detail as possible, handling the situation the way you ideally would love to handle it or to react to it. And when you do this mental rehearsal, you are essentially practicing handling that situation. And if you do it many, many, many times, when you eventually end up facing the situation in the real world, you will have experienced it and handled it many times before in that visualization and it will be so much easier to actually handle it because if you remember from one of the previous videos, the more experience you have with something, the more competent you will feel dealing with it. And the more competent you feel dealing with something, the more confident you feel about actually handling it. Remember, experience leads to feeling of competence and the more competence you feel you have, the more confident you will feel about it, about the situation, handling it, and of course, about yourself. So if you are struggling being confident in specific situations, such as public speaking, running meetings, or just speaking up in front of your colleagues or even your friends, spend time mentally rehearsing it in your mind over and over and over again, and how you would react, what you would say, how would you want to feel, because it helps. Athletes are using this mental rehearsal all the time where they're imagining the set of moves they have to go through, whether it's for divers or for gymnasts. It simply helps, so give it a good try. And that has been the confidence tip number 18, visualization versus mental rehearsal. I hope it's been useful. And before you go, what I'd like you to do is to mentally rehearse pressing the subscribe button and the like button because when you are actually going to do that right in a moment it will be so much easier hey thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video